Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another Boom Beach video and I've got something really cool to show you guys. The tribal upgrades for this, I think it's every two weeks, um, is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. We'll start off with the defensive building damage. Really, really good for defensive players. It's going to benefit everyone. The defensive building health is going to benefit everyone. The troop damage is going to benefit everyone. The troop health the resource reward and the gunboat energy. Everything in this is going to benefit everyone. It is really, really good. And I'm not very sure which one to upgrade first, but for this video, um, we're just going to be using the troop health, the troop damage and the gunboat energy. So we're going to go on this one first. We're going to boost this one up um, and then we're going to boost this one up and we're going to boost this one up. So you can see that they are on fire. In fact, why don't we just boost everything up? We're going to boost everything up. Obviously, these will benefit us certain ways, but look at that. They're all on fire, guys. Every single one of them are on fire, and that is really, really cool. But um, we could boost them up a little bit more. I might boost the GBE up. Um, we're going to be doing a video tomorrow where we're going to be boosting our statues up as well which will be absolutely insane. It's going to be amazing. So we'll boost that up, we'll boost that up, and we'll boost that up. How much statues, crystals, we've got 500 left. Um, that's ridiculous. We'll leave that one there just now, and let's go on to the actual attacks itself. So we're using warriors today. Um, I was using warriors in the last video, but I've actually still got them loaded up. I'm going to be taking down some bases, um, they will make a difference, I will guarantee you that. I mean, I'm starting with 98 gumbo energy, I usually start with about 50, 81, 81 gumbo energy or something like that, I usually start with, which is a huge benefit to us. So, um, let's try this one out, so we'll take this little critter here, then we'll come in from here, and then we'll go smoke, and then we'll go there, and then we'll go smoke, smoke. Oh, well, we lost one medic there. Uh, well, two warriors, sorry, there. Really unfortunate. Why are we drifting away? Oh, I didn't even realise we've got so many mines on the base. Oh, guys. Why have I used two medkits as well? This is an absolute disaster, actually. And um, this could not go any worse. We're going to go bang, bang, and then wait for it. Shield gen now. There we go. Oh, all of our warriors managed to get shocked there, which is crazy. There we go. That means most of our warriors were in that tiny little comp at the front, which is ridiculous. So there's a lot of guys there. You can see that the shadow of the warriors are really, really strong. Therefore, there's a lot of them in that little group. And that is actually a glitch, guys. It's a slight glitch because they should not be, you know, you know, um, grouping up as close as that. But anyway, we'll try that. That was extremely bad gameplay there. We'll go on with another attack here. We'll go and we will attack level 59 and see what we can do here. Um, we've got ourselves a grappler. Mm, should be okay. In fact, we're not even going to. We're going to do a single smoke landing there. We're going to be coming in. Hopefully, the prototype defense doesn't annoy us too much. Then we'll go straight to it. We'll go smoke, smoke. Okay, we're going to let Dr. Kavan do a little bit of healing. And then we're going to wait for it. Go for it now. And then go smoke. And one more smoke. So it's only going to take a two smoke landing. Perfect there. And we're looking really, really good at this point. So we'll just... Getting ready for the shocks. Here we go. We're going to go shock, shock. And then we're just going to go critter, critter. Use the shield at this point. Perfect. Bang and bang. Absolutely perfect there. And we lost a couple of troops, but that's really honestly expected in some of these attacks. It's quite hard to lose zero warriors, but there we go. We lost eight. That's okay. We're going to be going on to another attack with eight lost. I can usually just destroy these, but we're just going to attack them straight away anyway. Um, we're going to go critter. We're going to go two smoke, two landing here. Straight into the middle. One there. Smoke there, perfect. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. We did lose our Dr. Kavan, which is really unfortunate. Um, and then we're going to go smoke. Hopefully we get them all there. 
get a med kit up. A lot of close range defenses here. So we're going to have to watch out for that one. We're going to go critter. We're going to go shock, shock, shock. Should be smacking away at this. Getting artillery in there. There we go. Perfect. And we didn't lose too many there, guys. But um, how often do you guys use warriors? Because I use warriors, you know, once every like two weeks, three weeks. I barely ever use them. I know a lot of lower level players love using warriors. I remember when, um, you know, Smoky Warriors was actually, you know, first created. This was, it was first created almost, it was actually before the game was released people were doing this. Um, I only started um, playing this game when it was global launch. So that was probably about three and a half years ago, which is crazy, and I'm still not maxed. Well, I basically, I've only got like two or three things to upgrade. And um, I keep spending my loot on other things and stuff like that. But um, as you guys can see by my victory points, I don't play, you know, a lot. Um, I do play in the videos in a little bit casually. Um, I have been playing for three and a half years, which is expected. We are in a task force that I we joined in one of my streams. So we'll actually, we'll just do a warrior attack on one of these bases here. We're not going to attack that not gonna attack that one sorry guys um and we'll attack one that we can attack we could i suppose we could attack any of these we've got warriors loaded up so we can do some damage really obviously is not the perfect troop combo for this but we could do something like this if we go if we take this out hopefully let's see how weak some of these rocket launchers are if we take this out um, let's have a look. Take that out. Take this out. Take. Then we can get some critters up there. And then they can eat away up there for some free gumbo energy up there. And we're going to come in from this angle, I think. We probably want to take this shock launcher down, which will be perfect. Hopefully, we can take it down. If we can't, that's really unfortunate. No, we can't. Um, so, we're going to come in from this angle. So, we'll lay all our troops down. This is not ideal, guys. We're going to flare over here. Hopefully, we miss some of the mines. Just skiff them. That's okay. And we're going to go up here. And we're just going to come in and tr try our hardest to take as much as we possibly can out. This is just really a complete suicide mission right now. So let's go lay some critters. And why is some of our warriors going to the left? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And um, we're going to go sh try and get a really nice shock in there. Med kit now. If we keep them med kitted up and get some critters as well. We can actually do some really good job. We'll get some shield up there. They're ripping apart them flamethrowers and stuff up there. We're going to smoke that to keep them alive. And there we go. We managed to, to take the base down with all warriors. Pretty good. I Actually, yeah, really nice, actually. Look at that effect. The smoke moves around the screen. That's really, really good. We only lost five warriors. Only lost five, guys. Oh, my goodness. That's, in, that's absolutely crazy. We'll do another attack. Um, one more attack for you guys. We'll do a 57. Let's let's try and do this really fast. So we go bang, bang, bang. We take... We go critter. We go single smoke. Everything out. We've got a laser blaster. We're going to get the flare smoke. Everything looks great. And then we're going to go... We're going to go double smoke onto the base. Everything looks perfect. We've got... We're going to get a really good value shocks here, actually. Um, yeah, so we're going to go bang, 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 perfect, wait for it, Good. now we've still got, actually we've got a couple of critters, there we go, bang, takes the base down, and that is it, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, this is actually pretty good, I mean the boosts helping us having a little bit extra GBE, I mean the damage and the, the health actually is noticeable, because we're not losing as much warriors, they are having more health, I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow with the troop combo and we're going to be using all of these boosted with the tribal boosts as well and it's going to be absolutely crazy but um, anyway I'm going to choose the troop combo a little sneak peek what we're going to be using 
and I think it's going to be all Scorchers. So, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos, and I'll see you guys next time.